Bella Bella. <laughs> Hi guys, how you all doing? Yeah. I only got up about an, about two hours ago because I was absolutely shattered. I did not slept through the night. Up and down with pain and stuff. However, I couldn't get off my bed this morning. I had to wait for one of the kids to wake up and help. So I could feel a hair in my face. I can't see it, but I can feel it. Um, to help me up and get dressed because my back was absolutely stiff and. I'm so heavy as a fibro person or anyone that suffers with back problems will know that it is awful. Especially when you need the toilet and you're bursting and I should have one of those little bell things that's on my bed. Usually my daughter will just push me out. But you're right, Anna. But um yeah, so we sat here day tree read. Uh watching celebrity uh, what do you call it? Help, my house is haunted. I love stuff like that. I watched that Megan film last night. Um, you know, the doll. Oh my god, that was scary. I watched it before, but I didn't really take much notice of it until I did. I was sat on my own yesterday and I, I kind of watched it and it was like, oh no, I can't watch that. It kind of turned into a blooming murder dolly or something like that, I don't know. But it, should, it looks so realistic, it looks like a kid. <laughs> Any good recommendations as well, what's on Netflix or anything to watch? Because I'm kind of getting bored with watching the same thing. And I watched, like, Is It Cake on Netflix. Uh, Bella! Is It Cake? And it look, things look realistic, like... Oh, my kitchen looks like where the freeze gone off. Get out! So I'm not going to stay in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they, they make cakes, but like handbags and stuff like that. It looks all realistic and they've got to figure out which is a real bag. Is it a real bag or is it cake? But I think downside of that is I get hungry watching it and then I want cake. And I weighed myself today. No, I know my diet's not been great for the past few days just because, I don't know, I just fancied fish and chips and stuff like that. Oh, I've gained weight. I'm like, what, these gummies, people sit, I give good reviews, so I me, I give good reviews about these gummies and I'm not doing, doing anything for it. Just tastes horrible and make me go to the toilet and that's it. Um, I don't know, I've, I've tried thinking of all sorts. I know eating healthy, I have, I've got some, I'm going to have a salad tonight with like some boiled egg and some baby potatoes because they're quite nice with a bit of a salad. Um, and I need to clean the cooker as well. Keep spraying it because I keep forgetting I've done it. <laughs> I mean, I do have a grill and a, a George Foreman, so I've been using that. Um, I did have an air fry, but it was too small for my family because obviously I've got two free kids and there's myself and not a lot was being able to cook in a small one. What's that? Oh, it's a, it's a little light down there. It's me um, switches. And I was arguing with this guy box last night. Obviously, someone had obviously plugged something into the back of the... The scar, not the scar lead, switches. I got a cute thing you can put plugs in, and it's pulled a wire out of my internet, and it's kind of just stopped half the channels from working. So fighting with that last night. Oh, oh. watch bit of Gavin and Stacey as well. <laughs> Seen that for the ages. Oh, anyway, guys, I'll catch up with you a bit. I need to wake up a bit more. So guys, I've just had to pop out to go and get something from the shop and someone, sorry about the dog, someone, or someone's, I don't know, is nicking, he's nicking the caps off my car and I've just had to replace them yet again. Not only that, they've marked my car door, scratches all over it. I can't have no these days. Not that, I mean, my neighbours, they're just cats I've been taken, but 
I know it's probably kids for, for the bikes and stuff, but come on, you don't do that to someone else's property. Every flipping night I come, oh, it's happening. Every day I come in, go out to go and check on the car, and another scratch, another bloody thing. There's no respect these days. Whether it's adults or children, come on, grow up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not fair damaging someone else's property just for your gain. So I'm going to get some cameras fitted. Catch who it is, and then hmm, I've got a fair idea who it is. It's just catching them, isn't it? And the police won't do all either, so there's no point in ringing them. Just, it's just a bit plastic, in it, really? But it's just frustrating because I'm having to buy and buy and buy all again. So my son said his dad gets these particular ones that when you screw them on, it's fine, but when someone tries to take them off, it I don't know, does it have a little, I don't, I'm not too sure it has something and it could, it can mark if, if you're trying to steal it, steal stuff off your car, so I'm going to might have to have a look at that, but I don't know yet. I, so, I think I'm going to get a camera anyway, because it's not fair, I'm going to go out and there's another scratch, or oh, I can't wait to move, I've had enough, just can't have no round here anymore, and I've been, I've, I've, I know you're all going to say, what are you complaining about that for? It's just frustrating because it's happening on a daily basis. My friend gave me some dust caps for my car, so I put them on and now they're gone. All four. It's just cost me £1.50 to get some more and I shouldn't have to go out my... Can you drive without a dust cap on? It just worries me, I don't know. Whether... If I can't, if I can drive without them on then I'll probably just leave it. I think because they're all kids are on school holidays as well, they're just getting cheekier and there's a lot more kids about these days. I don't know where that people are moving about and there's a lot more children, more like pre-teen pre children around. So I don't know if it's just them playing, having a job, but we'll soon find out when the camera comes on and catches them. Hello, buddy cat. I've, got, I've just got Alfie, not Alfie, uh, Sutty, or fluffy, and then I've got Millie down on the floor, and um, I don't know, oh, I've had enough. I'm just tired as well, I've not slept right well, fed up, and it was like, oh, what are you getting upset and annoyed for? It's, it's, it's only just caps, but it's coming out my pocket, not theirs, achieving little sods. <laughs> It's frustrating, I'm more frustrated than anything else because uh, look, they're out again and watch by tomorrow morning. I shouldn't have to, you know, I shouldn't have to come to the point where you need a camera just to get, look out for your belongings, you know what I mean? I'm paying for that car, I don't want some silly hooligan coming along and just thinking it's a laugh, just scratching the life out of it. One second, guys, I'm just going to. Sorry, I just this group of new gang of lads hanging around, and it just you get a bit worried, don't you, when you've not seen anyone? You used to familiar faces, and when you see someone different, you're like, hmm, is it you? <laughs> anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm not giving myself an edit with having <laughs> ranked up nervous. Oh, and they're probably just thinking, what you just get worried off or something like that, but will you wait till it happens to your car? Go on. You've got a big mega scratch down it and fingerprints on the um, bonnet of your car, so like they've been got trying to get into my engine. I bet I'll see that dog. Anyway, guys, I love you, Olivia. And I'll catch up with you soon. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying the rest of your Saturday. Hi, however, I'm ready for a nap. And that dog is real. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button and the notification. Bye bye.